folks, one of the awesome things about getting to understand what Matsuri is as a machine tool builder is understanding the culture and the background of the company and really cool, Katsu Matsuri is here from Japan yes. for this event. Yeah, thank you. So, so tell us, to, to the someone who's new to the machine tool market or perhaps thinking about moving up to five axis, it does seem overwhelming. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say to somebody who's thinking about, um, you know, what do you want people to know Matsura as? Well, Matsura is uh, kind of, uh, let's say, boutique type, you know, ma machine tool builder. We're not the big guys like uh, doing everybody right. for supermarket. You know, we're much more, you know, tailored, oriented to machine tool builder. Yeah. It's mainly much more handcrafted, oriented, in the way of operation. Yep. Uh, so uh, we are focusing on those customers who want to do value added. Okay. Yep. So uh, uh, on their operations, their yep. business, and so forth. So well, we are very much in an uh, exporting oriented company. Yep. Uh, Seventy-five percent of you know uh, of you know uh, businesses export for exporting so out of Japan. Out of Japan. Yep. Yes. So uh, we are very much focusing on those you know customer mm -hmm. you know uh, of you know. Job shop, you know, yep. you know, very kind of high end class, yep, yep. In very preset, in, intricate type of you know uh, application. So uh, those in, uh, you know, uh, customer you know, need to be competitive somehow, yep. you know, uh, in the market, you know, comp you know, competing against to those, you know, uh, emerging country like uh, China yep. and so forth. So, so uh, uh, five axis machine center is uh, one of the you know uh, key. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 key machines, let's say, you know, for those customers who want to be competitive yep. against those. So, uh, not we just not you know offering five axis machine that we put more in a high mix, low volume type, you know, yep. lights out solution. So, so for especially you know uh, uh, these subcontractors like in you know, uh, uh, job shops, so yep. to to have let's say one night nice shift in unmanned operations. So yep. it's not going to be very fancy, but you know you know. Like a uh, 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 affordable yep. uh, uh, a package, like you know, uh, for PC version and, and, and many tools, you know, uh, good enough tools, yep. a number of uh, ATC on the machine. So, yep. so uh, that package can give you kind of one night shift or you know, uh, amount of operations. So, yep. so uh, that's a sort of you know, uh, area. Uh, we are really focusing on five x machine center against the others, you know, our competitors are doing so. Quick time out. I think it's worth mentioning the product line that Matsura currently offers to really understand who they are as a machine tool builder. If you head over to their website and choose models, at first it looks like qu quite a few, and certainly they do have a number of machine tools, but their bread and butter, one of the machines they're best known for would be the MAM series. So we first saw this at SNH. They make three different MAMs with different work envelope sizes, and the largest one is an H because it's a horizontal. But the idea with the MAM is 72 hours of unmanned operation. So they have a large number of pallets built in. On this MAM 7235V, this has a 32 pallet system built into it, and then the one that they had at the showroom had 512 tools. So you've got plenty of tools for redundant tooling, for different materials, for different jobs. So if you think about it, 32 pallets, but you might have multiple parts per pallet, and you wanna be able to run multiple days without having any reason to stop the machine. Moving to the left from the MAM72 is a sort of starter series. So they're similar to the MAMs, except they don't have quite as many tool holders, nor do they have quite as many pallets built in for automation. Cubelex is kind of like a MAM, but it can do turning as well as some grinding. H plus is their horizontal. Matsura has a couple of different th traditional three axis vertical style machines. And then the LF are the linear motor machines, kind of like the MX or the MAM, but instead of having traditional ball screws, these use linear motors, so they're insanely fast. These sort of machines have 4,000 inch rapids, 46,000 RPM spindles, really a separate league of machine. And then finally, sort of a separate line is Matsura has a hybrid machine. So they're doing sintering 3D additive where they can come in, build up very small layers of number of microns, come in, machine it, and then add more on to it. So Matsura really is a small builder. They don't offer mill turns, they don't offer lays, they focus on things like five axis, automation, incredibly high build quality, Japanese made machines with Japanese scraping techniques, really emphasizing, again, the brand and the quality. 
that's one of the things I really uh, have enjoyed getting to understand is that you, Matsura is okay not necessarily being the flashiest or the fanciest sheet metal or the newest, flashiest controller. You're very, very good at, at what you do, which is this idea of turnkey mm -hmm. integrated automation. And you seemingly started this decades before, you know, there's a trend now in the industry to where more companies are, are either offering it OEM or turnkeyed from third parties. But the MAM has been around since the early 90s. You, you, this is your bread and butter. Right, that's true. So. Because, you know, our, our nature is, again, you know, based on the, you know, job shop, you know, requirement yeah. uh, in terms of designing machines and so forth. So, so uh, uh, well, you know, uh, job shop needs to be uh, very versatile in terms Versa of, yeah. you know, uh, of, you know, uh, cutting material like from aluminum to steel, whatever they uh, require. So, yeah. so uh, uh, that... Um, uh, 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 requirement makes machine to be versatile enough mm -hmm. to do look after those materials to be cut. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so uh, machine has to be not like just finishing a purpose, but also laughing as well and a good talk and so forth. Yes. So that sort of you know, uh, uh, philosophy or requirement of the policy really give us a, a design basic mm -hmm. uh, to start with you know, uh, making machines. Uh, from the scratch. Yeah. So job shopping requirement is our nature of design philosophy. So uh, that's how we you know, design machines. So. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for taking the time. It's really cool to meet you and see and understand. And it's it is a boutique company. Where you're not one of the large conglomerates. No, you're I'm afraid. Then. But uh, and let's say uh, I wish I could have everything. You know, from vertical to horizontal and you know, super duper. You know, mm -hmm. a portable machine. But I know. You know, I. How we are, so yeah. so uh, we have to be competent, you know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, enough, let's say, to where we are good at. Yeah. So I think you know, five axis, this high mix, low body, lights up solution. This is the area we, we yes. really, really, you know. Uh, you want to dig out, so. Well, you certainly have a really good uh, brand. Everyone we know that has, has a Metzer or is thinking about it holds it very high regard, and mm -hmm. you're the third generation. It is very much so. Mm -hmm. So uh, my grandfather started okay. in 1935, so it's been 83 years. Yeah. So uh, I'm third generation. So this is a family business. You know, we, uh, it's, it's more uh, kind of uh, relationship oriented. So uh, we want to sell machines to everyone, but you know, uh, the machines in you know, our last more than 25 years. So it's like a really much, very much for you know family relationship. So, yep. so every single machine is it's our child. Okay, yep. so we make a, a, a relationship with every single customer. So yep. that's a way to to cherish in you know, our business so one by one from, yep. cus uh, from customer to us. So, so uh, it's it's we we still. For, uh, going for this way to make sure every customer is to be uh, to be let's say satisfactory sure <laughs> sure enough you know uh, to be looked after especially after sales okay so yep. service is very important so, right. uh, you know, to be looked after so so um, our policy we we don't go the area we, we don't feel comfortable to do after service mm -hmm. so, uh, so we are certain area uh, 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 doing business but not that everywhere so so uh, that policy will be you know uh, uh, ongoing let's say yep. so. awesome well thank you very much for the time thank I really you. appreciate it it's a pleasure thank meeting you. you right I'd really like to thank Mr. Matsura for taking the time to sit down with us he was an incredibly personable individual he was very passionate about not only the machining and manufacturing industry but about their brand and what they're doing to stay on the forefront of technology and offer a really good machine tool and he was also just a really nice guy he was really fun to hang out with and, and, and talk with and it's cool if you look on social media there's so many pictures of him traveling all over the world to various different job shops and customers and a lot of them are the small shops the small customers that's one of the things that blew me away is getting to know the folks who have invested in machines like Matsuris, they're not just the large conglomerates. They're not the multi-million dollar shops. There are a number of these smaller shops that have some of these automation cells, even a man, which to me still seems a little crazy, but I start to understand it now and I really have to give 
uh, my hats off to, to Mr. Matsura for maintaining his family business and the culture. I have a huge amount of respect for, for people and for companies that, that are willing to say no and focus in on something and not just say yes to everything and grow in areas that maybe they're not quite as good at and it ends up diluting their value or they get a little bit in over their head. So again, uh, really a lot of respect for both the company and him. And again, appreciate him taking the time to talk with us card here to the event where we were able to meet Mr. Matsura up in Connecticut. They opened a new technology center. They had many of their machines on display. I had the chance to walk through with Tyler from Matsura USA and really get a better feel for what their different levels of machines are and some good examples of how they're set up and, and just get to know the products better. Thanks folks. Take care. See you soon.